if there's one Adam Cole, I'm okay. We we got the Davy Goliath thing. I'm I'm okay. But the problem is when you've got 10 guys, you know, Ali, well, you know, Johnny Gargano, when you've got 10 guys that look like this, now we got an issue. Uh, let's let's uh, talk about working with Adam Cole, baby, uh, EC3. So what was the experience working uh, with Adam Cole? And after that, uh, uh, EC3, I would just like Vince's take on Adam Cole as a whole. I, I'm interested in that, too. So EC3, what was it work, uh, working with, with Adam Cole? And what, did he ever, was there any, I know that he came to the Royal Rumble, but was there any talks as far as like him not being on the main roster because of his physique. There were some rumors of him coming up as a manager and stuff like that. What were your thoughts? Well, I, I don't think anything of manager ever reached us in the locker room and who knows what the scuttlebutt on the internet saying about the perception because everyone has this perception. Vince loved this certain thing, uh, but you know, he's very high on Triple H's list and he's very high for a reason. Adam Cole is one of the, like, I could say absolutely nothing negative about him as a human being. He's one of the nicest dudes. He's a great talent in the ring. And like, obviously the look and the aesthetic of a tough pro wrestler escapes him, but I think he's able to pull it off because he works so hard. He's so unique. He's so different in that sense. I have nothing but sterling reviews for Adam Cole, Bebe. I think he puts his heart on his sleeve. He's very passionate. He, he does think on his own, in his own way, but he also knows how to give people what they want to see so they can keep, you know, building him up. And he has that, you know, great following. Nothing bad to say. I would only say that he falls into the trap of people go, oh, he's such a great heel. I love him as a heel. Oh, then he's not doing his job. You no, know, there's no, there's no, I think, a vicious, sadistic of being able to make people legitimately dislike you. Right. It's hard to get everybody to because if you even go that far, people are like, dude, I really think he's a great heel. Look what he's doing. He's literally making people mad. But he's a safe, it, he's a very talented and safe antagonist who's really a protagonist in my mind. The dude's a baby face. He's a baby face in real life. So, Vince, it, your thoughts? Bro, I'll, I'll be honest with you, man. I've never seen Adam Cole do anything. I, I mean, I haven't. I don't want. I don't watch SmackDown. I don't watch NXT. I know who he is, but again, speaking as a casual wrestling fan slash television viewer, to me, he falls in the Johnny Gargano category. That's not. That's not. When I look at him. That is not a believable person to me that's going to be able to beat up a, a, a roster twice his size. That, yeah. that's, that's my instinct. I don't know the guy from – hey, listen, if my buddy EC3 says he's a hell of a guy, I'm oh. sure he's a hell of a guy. This has nothing to do with that. I'm just talking about a casual viewer watching a wrestling show. My first instinct is going to be, who is this guy going to be? To, to Vince's point, too, you know who's a hell of a guy? Who's that? My neighbor, Kurt the Realtor, hell of a guy, looks just like Adam Cole. Yeah. Great guy. I could rip Kurt's throat right out, like just rip it out. See, Adam see Cole, I love him. If Adam, if we ever had to like, if it was last man on earth and only one of us is getting that, I was gonna say rock of cocaine to make a joke. If we were the last man on earth and only one of us is getting that last piece of meat to eat, yeah, I would. You can't say piece of meat either, because that makes you out. Okay. I would destroy him. I would rip him to shreds. I would beat him to death with his own legs. I would rip his arms off and I'd clap his ears. Like he wouldn't stand a chance against me. Same thing with those guys. But for a professional wrestler who's simulating combat to people that obviously know the combat is simulated, the dude does not blow up. He's got extended cardio and he works really hard and he's very creative in his matches to appease that one demographic yeah. that wouldn't necessarily be the casual fan. So, yeah, I mean, Chris, it's, you and I talk about this all the time. Bro, Here, here's the problem. If there's one Adam Cole, I'm okay. We, we got the Davy Goliath thing. I'm, I'm okay. 
But the problem is when you've got 10 guys, you know, Ali, well, you know, Johnny Gargano, when you've got 10 guys that look like this, now we got an issue. If it's just him, we can get it over. Yeah, I, you know, I appreciate you, EC3, for, for uh, you know, singing his praises because you know him personally. I don't know him personally, so I'm just only saying it from a fan's perspective. Adam Cole does not do it for me at all. I, only because I think I, I despise Adam Cole as a heel. Now, if he was a baby face doing his shtick, I'm, I'll be for it because I think the whole Adam Cole baby, I think the boom, all those, he's a, he's charismatic. And so I appreciate that. The boom and the Adam Cole baby and all that, I'm cool with it. The problem is when you come out and you do those entrances, that takes a, the heat away from the baby face. And then the baby face is getting split cheers or getting less cheered than the person who's supposed to be the heel. I despise that as a traditional wrestling fan because at the end of the day, you're supposed to fill your role. And if I'm, I'm if I'm opposite someone on the other side of the ring and I'm taking the heat away from them being cheered, I'm not doing my job correctly. And I don't I, like it. I don't like when Adam Cole does that. I, I, I despise it. I think he's not you know, a good man. A hundred percent do I agree with that. That's why I strictly stated the dude's a baby face. Mm-hmm. He was hanging out with you guys right now. You'd be like, man, that that guy, that guy rocks. He's so I mean, good. he has his own Twitch. So I mean people like people like Adam Cole. I mean, like he's 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 a popular guy. He, he did do this one match, and you know, he's hot in his NXT run as a quote heel. And I'm, you know, jacked up, you know, five moves of doom, babyface in a smart mark town. And we just, we, we didn't have him at first, but we were able to get them because he was able to play along with what I was able to do. And I was able to play along with what he did. And we actually turned, you know, what would be a very pro Adam Cole crowd against him. So kudos to him on that. But the dude is a babyface. You're hundred percent right. Like, if you look at this, like, UFC, yeah, you can have your kind of, like, if it's weight class based and, like, the, the guys Vince is mentioning, it makes sense because it's believable these guys would compete against these guys. But if they are, if Ali is stepping in the ring with Lashley, like, if there's any realism whatsoever, unless we can tell a great, great, great story, 10 times out of 10, Lashley's mowing them out. But I think someone like uh, Ali or anybody, anyone of that size who's, disproportionately sized to like a Lashley or someone like that. I think the angle that they have is cockiness. I'm arrogant. I'm cocky. I, you know, you might be bigger than me, but you know, I, I can still beat you up. You know what I mean? Like you get to that point where you're so arrogant that you're just blinded, you know, to reality. I can appreciate that in a heel, like someone like a, a Brian Kendrick, you know, back in the day, you know, when he was in WWE, you know, he, he used to come with Ezekiel Jackson. He was so arrogant that he, you know, he was a smaller stature guy, but he would come out, you know, man with the plan and his jackets and stuff like that. Super arrogant, super cocky. And I appreciate that type of heel because it's like, you know, first of all, I got my ace in the hole behind me. You know, I got a, I got I got my heavy behind me, so I don't care. And I, I can still beat you up because I got my guy. That was the whole Sean and Diesel dynamic. You know, yeah. Sean was a Sean was a heel. And he could say whatever he wanted to, and he would literally jump over Diesel, you know, and, and, and pester people because he had a heavy behind him that was the guy who can beat people up for him. I appreciate people like that. But Sean without Diesel in, in that time wouldn't have it wouldn't have made sense to me because you know you had people that could beat him up. And yeah. right now you're having Sean without Diesel a lot when it comes to these people, like an Adam Cole. And to me, it's not just not it's just not believable. It's not believable to me, man. I, I do think from a professional, because everything I do is based on my time and experience with them in a ring. So utmost talented, super professional. At the same time, as a true pro, so Rip Rogers would say this to us back in the OVW days, and this will have a cuss in it, but it's if you're gonna be a heel, be a fing heel. And well, it's it's not there is it their fault they don't do that or is it the fault of our offices and our coaches and our trainers who became complacent and have just given up and want to collect checks and don't want to rock the boat to instill that on guys when they come into the system that is supposed to be the top system in the entire world 
of sports and entertainment and pro wrestling. So I have a, I have harsh criticisms and that starts with who's at the top now. Like they lo- allowed a lot of this to happen. So if they don't see the value in what you're preaching and what we what's worked forever, I, I don't know why, because they know that's what works. But. Yeah, I heard Tony Khan did, I heard Tony Khan didn't want Jericho to change his his music, uh, Judas, when he when he just recently you know started his heel run because he enjoys the, the fans singing. And I'm like, Why are you what a lark, man! You take it away. Yeah, that's what you take it away. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I heard it. I heard a Jericho wanted to take it away. And tell yeah, it what's away. more ineffective, pro wrestling management or government? Why yeah, it? it's, that's horrible, man. And I'm like. That's the perfect opportunity for him to heal it up and get more heat if Judas starts coming on and then you hear some type of scratch and then it goes off. That's heat. That that's yeah. heat, man. It's and man, I, I gotta tell you, Chris, like, you know, when, when when I was writing and stuff, man, and the 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 fans started turning them. You turn them. You you go right you with them. Turn, you them. you don't you don't fight it. You turn them, exactly. bro. Like that's right. why I don't understand what you 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 pointed out, Chris. They're singing with Seth. Yeah. Okay, bro. Yeah. If that continues, let it go. You need, yes, bro. Mm-hmm. You need to turn it. But if if you keep fighting against it, we've got miscasting again. That's right. That's right. You know. And then, and again, it makes the person on the opposite end of the ring. That's the person who feels it the most. I mean, yeah. that, that's what it boils down to. There's yeah. nothing worse. The first off in professional wrestling, in, in entertainment in general, I think the second hardest thing you can be is a no context white meat baby face on a wrestling show. Mm-hmm. But the first hardest thing being a stand up comedian, because if you go out there and bomb, you're on your own and you suck. Mm-hmm. And that's probably the, the worst thing ever, but being a white meat baby face with no context on a wrestling show, like, come on, like, why should you, why should people cheer for you? You just come out there with no reason, no purpose. So if you actually get people to react to you and enjoy you and like you and want to sing your song and want to go boom and want you to like, to kick a dude in the face 17 different ways and then DDT him and Canadian destroyer him and then let him kick out it too, that's cool if they want to see it, but you gotta, yes, you gotta go with what the people want. Yeah. I, I mean, Sa- Sa- Savage is a perfect example. Can you yep. imagine if they would have kept Savage heel when, my God, he was loved by everybody? Right. It's a perfect right. example, man. Right. So absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs>